A lot of you know that intermittent fasting can provide some amazing physical benefits for your body. It can help you burn fat and keep it off while enjoying foods that you love in a sustainable, non-restrictive way. But the effects that it has on your brain, your mental clarity, your cognitive ability, and in turn, your productivity are absolutely incredible. And that's exactly what I wanna go over today. The benefits of fasting on your brain and your mind. We've been taught that eating at least three square meals a day is necessary to have a healthy body and healthy mind. Instead of relying on our natural hunger signals, many of us have become accustomed to eating out of routine and for enjoyment and entertainment rather than out of true hunger. This has caused many people in the developed world to gain weight, body fat, and develop insulin resistance. Ironically, thanks to this, fasting has emerged as a practical and sustainable solution for weight loss, but fasting has been practiced for centuries before weight gain and obesity became a problem due to the fact that it has so many other benefits, especially within the realm of cleansing and healing. One of these benefits is known as autophagy, which is when your body destroys old or damaged cells. When you constantly eat, your body stays in what's known as a building mode, and it has no reason to enter this natural regulated process of autophagy where unnecessary and dysfunctional components of your cells are destroyed and cleared out. It's activated when you stop eating for a period of time, and that doesn't mean that you have to fast for a long extended time frame. Fasting for more than six hours begins this cleansing phase. So you can experience the benefits with a simple intermittent fasting protocol where you fast for only 16 hours of the day. Autophagy is essentially a way for your body to repair and cleanse itself and we definitely wanna allow our bodies to undergo this process because if older damaged cells stay in your body, they create inflammation and other problems. This natural process of destroying the old allows our, our bodies to bring in the new which leads to many benefits for your brain. Dr. Mark Matson has been studying the brain for well over 20 years. He's a professor of neurology at John Hopkins University and he claims that fasting has been shown to increase the rates of neurogenesis in your brain. Neurogenesis is the growth and development of new brain cells and nerve tissues. Higher rates of neurogenesis have been linked to increased brain performance and improved memory, mood, and focus. This has been tested in studies that have confirmed that intermittent fasting stimulates the production of new brain cells. According to Matson, fasting only twice a week could significantly lower the risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or Parkinson's, and it can help you develop protective measures against damage from things like strokes. The shock of fasting stresses the brain in a good way, much like stressing your muscles when you work out. This stress leads your brain to create new cells. The benefits of exercise and fasting on the brain are linked closer than most people think. Both increase the production of protein in the brain, which in turn promotes the growth of neurons. It also promotes the connection between neurons and the strength of synapses, which are the junctions that connect your nerves to other nerves and allow them to send signals and communicate with each other. One of these proteins that get boosted from fasting is a very important protein called BDNF. BDNF has been called miracle grow for your brain. It makes your brain more resilient to stress and more adaptable to change, helping with the production of new brain cells and protecting your current brain cells while boosting memory, improving mood, and learning. On the other hand, low levels of BDNF are linked to dementia, Alzheimer's, memory loss, and other brain processing problems. One particular study showed that intermittent fasting could increase BDNF by 50 to 400%. Intermittent fasting from 16 to 18 hours has been shown to boost BDNF levels by 50 to 100% and fasting up to 36 hours has been shown to boost BDNF levels by up to 400%, which is obviously a significant amount. Another thing that fasting does is it boosts the production of HGH in your body. Researchers at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute found that men who fasted for 24 hours had a 2,000% increase in circulating HGH, and women experienced a 1,300% increase in HGH. Human growth hormone doesn't only help us burn more fat while sparing the breakdown of lean muscle tissue, but it also has incredible anti-aging and longevity benefits, and it helps your brain in many ways. HGH has been shown to improve cognition, provide neuroprotection, and it once again increases neurogenesis. Fasting will allow your body to run off of ketones for energy rather than glycogen. 
When you eat throughout the day, your blood sugar will rise and fall all day long. When your blood sugar falls, you feel tired, sleepy, and it becomes difficult for you to focus. You experience a sort of brain fog. On the other hand, when you fast, your brain receives a natural boost, giving you amazing mental clarity. It allows you to focus on whatever task is at hand, and it allows you to avoid that midday drowsiness that kills your productivity. I've personally never been as productive in my life until I started fasting. Once you get used to it, you'll be amazed at how focused you are. This is once again largely due to your brain running off of ketones when fasting, and ketones provide a more efficient fuel for your brain. When your brain consistently runs off of ketones, it increases the number of mitochondria, or so-called energy factories, within your brain cells. This gives your brain more so-called brain power, similar to a drill running on full power rather than half-charged. Dr. Matt Matson mentions that the reason why our brain gets a sort of supercharge when fasting is because we've evolved to eat intermittently. Before modern agriculture and refrigeration, food wasn't as plentiful as it is now, so we had to go for long stretches of time without any food. For survival reasons, more energy has to be allocated to the brain when we experience food scarcity. Dr. Matt Matson says that it's important that the brain functions well, perhaps even optimally, when we haven't been able to eat for an extended period of time. It makes a lot of sense. Without the brain working optimally while fasting, our ancestors wouldn't be very good at competing with other individuals or animals to obtain food and survive, and ultimately pass their genes on. Now, look, I totally understand that a lot of this goes against the grain of what a lot of us have been taught growing up. I mean, after all, as a kid, I was told always to have a big breakfast to do better in school. This big breakfast that we were encouraged to eat would ideally be a bowl of cereal or some scrambled eggs washed down with some orange juice. Now we know that the simple sugars in orange juice and cereal aren't only bad for your body composition, but they're also pretty awful for your brain function. By the time that the school bus would drop you off at school, you would already experience a sort of blood sugar crash after that huge initial spike that was caused by consuming those simple sugars to begin with. This would affect your ability to stay awake, to focus, to concentrate, to retain, and to learn in general. And that's not even mentioning the fact that digestion itself requires a lot of energy. Look, all I'm saying is don't get stuck in old school myths that prevent you from trying new things with your diet. I promise you, if you try fasting, you'll be able to experience the cognitive benefits for yourself. Like I said, I've personally never experienced the kind of mental clarity, alertness, and the high energy levels that I get from just eating one meal a day. If I do eat in the morning, I make sure I mostly stick to green veggies, fat, and some protein to avoid a spike in my blood sugar that you would get from eating a high carb breakfast. As soon as you spike your blood sugar, the energy pathway in your body changes, and you lose all that mental clarity. You can try fasting with a simple lean gains approach, where you would fast for 16 hours and eat for only an eight-hour feeding window. Then you could progressively increase the fasting length over time to experience the full mental benefits of fasting. That's it, guys. I really hope this video has helped you out, and I hope it's encouraged you to at least try fasting, even if it's not for weight loss or fat loss. If you are looking to start fasting, but you're not exactly sure how to easily incorporate it into your daily routine, no worries. I know I just gave you guys a lot of information today, so if you'd like to learn how to burn fat fast with a fasting protocol, then visit my website where I'm running a six-week challenge right now that, on average, has my clients losing either 20 pounds or 5% body fat in only 42 days. It'll teach you how to structure your diet in a number of different ways, including fasting protocols. Along with a done-for-you, customized diet plan, you'll get a workout plan, a weekly workout plan, a recipe book, an accountability coach to guide you through the whole process, and they're going to answer any questions directly to your cell phone. You'll actually hear from your coach every single week to ensure that you're making progress and actually hitting your goals. For a limited time, you can get all the challenge materials for free, but there is a catch. Here's the big catch. You only get it for free if you stick to the plan. We do this to incentivize you to follow through, because without invoking that major follow through on your part, we can't produce the results for you. According to studies, people follow through more often when they have something to lose rather than just something to gain. So if you're actually serious about making a real transformation, we can definitely help. To learn more about the challenge, you can click the link below in the description, or you can just visit my website directly at www.gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon. Pump it.